in for a hoop, man. Yeah, but we're, 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 we're changing up the pace. We're going to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hopefully, Devin changed the game on Twitch.tv to be Smash. And we got Nox and Rhythm. Nox is the ZSS, and Rhythm is the Robin. Okay, so Robin versus ZSS. So maybe, you know, we already have, like, our uh, token ZSS. Not to ZSS. Uh, Robin. Oh, yeah. Here, we do have uh, a Mr. Robin. Jewel. I don't know if Joel will enter today, but Rhythm's here to, like, fill in that spot a bit. Yeah, we have Jewel, and Germ also plays Robin. But neither of them are in attendance today, I don't know, so... Yeah. Uh, I think it's this week's finals week, right? Yeah. I think that's why we're missing a couple people. Hopefully then the Summer Smash begins next week. Yeah, Summer Smash is going to be crazy. Yeah. But right now, what's crazy is Robin's lead. I hope he doesn't squander it. He almost threw it away. We saw that. Yeah. Okay, Nox. Yeah, Nox. Nox looks like he's just trying to push Robin to the ledge and get a um, kickflip, but he's not He's not getting it. He's not really getting what he's looking for. But he just get that Paralyzer. Yeah, that was a good coverage with that uh, Paralyzer. It covered, like, usual get up, rolls to the Ooh. left. He's just going to up B right in front of him, get the kill. That's going to be stock one going the Nox with the top. Yeah, so so people like to do is they like to jump out of shield because everyone has a frame three jump spot. But um, what people don't know, well, people, some people aren't realizing that people know that you're going to jump. And so yeah. definitely did that button. Woo! Honestly, that would have been hype if he was at higher percent, but he literally went nowhere. Yeah, Nox getting a little little crazy with these LPs. Um, it is a strong move out of shield, but, you know, does leave him wrong with getting punished. And that forward air, that 11 forward air? There we go. Arc fire into trying to get the 11 sword right afterwards. 11 sword would kill at that percentage. So he's definitely on the lookout for it. Look, he's jumping around. Forward air back air, trying to delay Ooh. it there. Good parry coming out from Nox. Yeah, those 11 arrows are really strong, but it's something that can be telegraphed at times if you're not really mixing it up properly. See Nox trying to get this stun. We get a lot of mileage off of it. Passes yeah. him off stage. And that dash attack wasn't bad. Um, it did cross him up and prevented him from getting killed. Do you think he meant to go for dash attack there? Um, yeah. I, either forward smash or dash attack. Either way, he did get, he did get an A punish. Stole stage control, at least. Yeah. But now he's off stage, 153%. Rhythm's struggling to find this kill. Ooh, yeah, he's trying to throw out that Thoron, just trying to catch uh, his DSS jumping. Trying to catch that landing forward air. He still has his jump. Uses it to avoid the side beam. And I'm really liking this patience from Nox. He's kind of just staying out of Robin's bubble. Robin has a big bubble where she throws out those levens and he kind of just explodes. I love Nox's spacing right there. You saw him go with Ooh, the forward air and spaced another, it backwards. My man's taunting. What did he do to him? Did something happen? I mean, honestly, it, it's part of the game in my opinion. If you taunt against your opponent, it can do some mental damage. Ooh, okay, and he went for the back air and didn't get it. Forward throw, get him off ledge. In the famous words of John Numbers, like, if you have time for it, just taunt. Yeah. You know? Nothing yeah. better to do. Yeah, and Nox spacing with the side B is, like, really good. Um, he's catching a lot of Robin's jump-ins. And Robin killing with the second version of Arc Thunder. Up smash again, trying to get some coverage on that jump. He's that, and that pitiful grab range. Grab range. And I think it also has something to do with the ZSS's frame. ZSS has a very skinny frame that sometimes makes it makes it difficult for you to hit that. Right. Really annoying, I'm not actually dealing with that times. So poor grab range plus weird Z axis for ZSS equals you're not grabbing him, son. Yeah. Um, yeah let's see if some the rhythm can get anything started because um, Robin is definitely a character that can carry momentum, but right now he does not have the weapon sword available. Oh, he gets caught by the last baby hit of that side B. Yeah, he held it because uh, he got the upward hitting hitbox. And honestly, Nox is throwing at that side B because he can't. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, you know, he's not getting punished for it, throwing it out there just in case Rhythm gets a little overzealous with pushing that bun. That was yeah, because um, one of the things is a great ledge pressure tool, and if you get hit by it at the, at the ledge, uh, you can explode. Okay, Nox is off Ooh. stage. SD is out. This is the chance for Rhythm to bring this back. Yeah, Nox mashing a little bit too hard at the end of that. Yeah, right? I mean, I get your zero suit. You want to mash, but... Good Arc Thunder, fade away for 26 damage. Well, and Nox is really fishing for the side B. Um, I'm not really sure if it's worth it right now. A little delay on the Nosferatu. He comboed that. That was not true. Um, can we no way. Can that was, that was sus. That, that was not true whatsoever. Can we talk about, can we talk about how Let's watch it right now. Though? Hold on, because it was a falling up air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, he could have, he could have, he definitely could have, like, did yeah, he have his jump? Did he try maybe try the jump when he was at a double jumps? No, I just don't think he expected him to go up there. Um, he probably expected him to do something else. That so he just pushed not nothing. Kick. Yeah, I think he just wanted to look for a landing option, and Nox was just like, "Oh yeah." I'm just gonna go. He just went for it. He just went for the up B like a nut. Yeah. If he would have air dodged that, he would have been wide open for a big punish. Yeah. It's just one of those things that sometimes you don't expect it. Um, yeah. So good stuff, my Nox. But um, no rhythm keeping it consistent. He was bringing it back somewhat at the end of that stock, so maybe he could carry some momentum into the next game. 
I like his Project M shirt, you know, because to me, I think Project M's like that uh, Metroid game, right? Um, Met uh, like it's, it's like code for Metroid Prime 4 or something? Smash 3.5. Is that is that the patch you mean? Like patch mm -hmm. three point five coming yeah. out soon for yeah. ultimate? Yes, yeah, master. All right, cool. I just want to double check with that shirt, man. Three, All right, so we're going to Kalos two, Pokemon League. One, go. Yeah, we're on Kalos. Um, this is this is a favorable stage for Robin. No, Robin can set up some of her uh, aerials. I mean, excuse me, some of her projectiles with Kalos, which is such a big stage. Mm. And then also has that platform to be able to just like charge a projectile for free to force uh, Zo uh Nox to approach. Yeah. Oh, we got Grounded State. And Rhythm not really pressuring Knox on the ledge like that. Maybe afraid of the flip kick coming off the ledge. Giving him maybe a little bit too much respect. Okay, got a lot of jumps. Going for just the rapid jab to do some big damage. Knox is slowing down the pace a bit. Yeah. Very right different from the previous game. Yeah, because um, Knox did throw away a couple of stocks last game just by going a little crazy. But, um... Maybe that's something he wants to improve on in this game. But Rhythm is off to a much better start than he was last game. One thing I'm noticing from Nox is every time he finds himself like whipping an attack, his immediate response is to go for an up tilt. Yes. So I'm wondering if Rhythm might like download that and put it for later. But hey, you know what? Gonna catch that ledge jump. Got an up air coming out. Yeah, um, Nox has been throwing out moves from the ledge consistently and jumping off the ledge. So Rhythm definitely caught him jumping. Frame one jab to push him off, opt to go for a down smash. That could have been an opportunity for him to go for an offstage back here. Robin's pretty open once he commits to the up B, you know? Yeah. Oh, and then Levin, that Levin there. Good hitbox. Oh, yeah, you died. Yup. Rhythm went one. for the jump. Again, Rhythm likes going for those aerials with Levin's sword. Knocks all coming, goes for an anti-air up smash. Yeah, throw out that meaty hitbox. There we go. Okay. He's rolling in every single time, and Knox is trying to capitalize on it. Yeah, Nox looking for that down smash off the tech chase, which is a good option. It's mm -hmm. quick, safe on shield on block. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nose for Ratsu. Can, that? Can he whip that? I mean, that was a spot dodge. Ooh, okay. Good. That, that's a way to get back to the stage, you know? Fade away uh, arc fire. Yeah, it's a gamble, but, you know, gamble, the gamble paid off this time. So close to getting that up air to connect yet so far. Yeah, he, he, second time he went for that Nose for Ratsu, he whipped it. Oh, uh, bear out of shield. Yep. Threw the book at him, wasn't even expecting it. Arc fire to cover the ledge. He gets the forward air right afterwards. Rhythm on a tear. And that DI. Um, Sus? Didn't happen? He probably <laughs> didn't think he was going to die. The DI did not happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was a little bit too low percent to get that second up air or forward Ooh. air. Like, and like I said, the frame of ZSS, <laughs> low profiling that Robin back air. It seems to me that Rhythm's like adapting. A bit like uh, even though Nox has slowed down the pace, Rhythm's just like this is the pace that I want. I want time to like set up my projectiles and oh, caught in a really bad spot, gets back onto the stage. Yeah, I think he's just giving Nox air because Nox is doing a lot of these aerial approaches, and robbing a character with these big loving hitboxes is something that could get stuffed out pretty easily. Right, but hey, you get the littlest, tiniest stun. Melee converts that into a kill off of up B. Yeah, we're that neutral tech. I like it. Okay, Rhythm still has a pretty healthy lead here. 67% deficit. She needs to maintain stage control, keeping Rhythm off stage. I got that L Thunder. Yeah, Nox is high percent right now. Yeah, this is looking really Ooh, dangerous for Nox. Let's see how he gets off the ledge. And yeah, Rhythm is scouting, is he scouting that jump. Yeah. Wait. Definitely looking for that ledge option, but now. Okay. Bring okay. it up. I'll be for damage. Going for the damage. Okay, okay, going for the down air in case Seema spaces it. That would have oh. put Rhythm, that might have killed Rhythm if he got the timing right. Down That's air, true. looking for the up air, goes for the double jump instead. At lower percents, very, it becomes a mix-up. Okay. Okay, things are looking really scary here. Knox at 128%. The, the yeah. range? Yeah. He's living! The aftershock of that down smash is kind of crazy. Oh, oh my god, he no! got- No! Oh my good! He's alive! Oh, and he taunted. Oh my he god. Taunted. Oh my god. Yeah, stage control. Oh, you're, you're insane. Dead. That was so he, greedy. You know, you know what's even worse about that? Besides, the, the, besides the fact that he taunted and then he went to that. Yeah. Right? He could have avoided that down smash. Completely. He landed, he landed on the platform after the upbeat. Yeah. He didn't have to land on the platform. 
it was a mix up, I guess. Maybe he thought if he held down, he would have chased after him, but then he could have like no, he went he was too far away to retreat to the ledge. That is That was uh that was a Hail Mary upbeat, if I've ever seen one. Because I think he opted to go for the upbeat because if it did miss, it gave him the option to 50 50. Lay on the platform, lay on the he ground. He did it because he was drunk. Honestly, that's he, he, that's he ended honest. game one with an upbeat. Like, that was Hail Mary. Yeah, Maybe he, tried, he was hoping that Lightning would strike twice. You know? Yeah, Reppin smashed 3.5 to the finish, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, you go nuts in that game, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, um, you know, good stuff by Rhythm. Uh, something that he was doing is he slowed it down a little bit and he started to scout Noxa jumps a little more. So at like game one, he was overwhelmed by ZSS's jump ins. Mm -hmm. And as the game progressed, uh, he, gave, he just gave ZSS a little bit more space to jump around and do whatever the hell she wanted to do. So he could counter hit with his um, aerials, especially the 11 aerials. 11 aerials are kind of devastating. So um, yeah, definitely, you know, good adaptation coming from Rhythm. Okay, we got Robin coming back up. Not expecting a character swap at this point as we jump into game three, but now we got a counter pick coming out from Nox hey, with a uh, stage. I missed what stage was selected, but we'll see. That. Pokemon oh, stage two. Big open stage for Zero Suit to just run around and go ham. Melee starting off with the Zare. Try yeah, so uh, different pace this time around. Mm -hmm. Just immediately charges in. Yeah, Melee pressing buttons on Robin Shield. As long as they're spaced well, could be, definitely be safe. Okay. Yeah, good coverage with that up air. Very large range. Ooh, yeah, and you know, Nox getting mixed up with some of these um, projectiles that Rhythm's throwing out. Rhythm is controlling the stage currently. Yeah, he's making Nox react to what he's doing instead of, instead of vice versa. Oh, that falling up air. Here we go. Nox wants to stun. Yeah, good, good roll. roll. Yeah, An up tail. You saw the up tail is his, you know, instinct. It covers a lot of options. It went for the clank. No damage. Yeah, and that multi hit, man. You need to be wary of that. Ooh, Ooh. okay, Nox. Can you talk about that angle? Yeah, man. Send him diagonal. My man, Nox coming in with an up smash. With the anti-air up smash. And that grab is getting him, scooping him up. Yeah, you talk about range on a grab. That's, that's going to be one, man. Tether versus Robin's range. Take your pick. You know, and now you see Nox playing a little bit more safer than he was last game. Throwing out a lot more of the, the range attacks. Uh, instead of like the arrows he was throwing out earlier, but now uh, rhythm capitalizing quickly. Right. Okay, side B. Saw him prepare that arc fire. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to catch him air dodging. Didn't get it. Up hey. tilt again out of shield. Really up tilt. Yeah, and Nox jumping a lot less than he was in game two. Now yeah. he's just using a lot more of his B buttons instead of just mashing with narrow and shield. Ooh, and that's. Uses the projectile against his opponent again. Another Hail Mary up B. Yeah, I think he's just preemptively doing it because he's expecting to get the down smash. Yeah, he's going for some very heavy reads. But he's reading the wrong book, man. He's back off stage. Missing that L Thunder. That was wacky. That's completely wasn't in front of the Yeah, and I, and I like what Nox is doing, man. Just giving Robin space, not jumping into Robin. <laughs> he's playing safe. Yeah. You see him spacing out these Zares? Oh, he's caught in a bad spot. Has to re grab. There could have been an opportunity for Rhythm to, pe pe uh, you know, penalize that. Grab. Four throws for stage control. Literally one back air away from sealing this out. But Nox doesn't really use back air that much, I'm, I'm noticing. Yeah, right now, Nox, is, Nox isn't really pressing a lot of areas. Which is like Zero Suit's bread and butter, but you get the stun, baby. And, and that mix up coming out from Nox just baiting him to do. Just make it, pick an option. Try to go for grab out of shield, but with that much knockback, he was not gonna reach. Ooh. Yeah, catching that jumping once again. Oh, Ooh, he died. wait, he died. hold on. Yeah, Man's gotta be on the lookout for those air dodges. We're in our final stock of this game. Winner's gonna move on to round three. <gasps> oh, that was scary. Yeah, cause that's still a thing in this game. Nair, Nair flip kick is definitely still a thing. Right, looking for the arc fire on the ledge as well. Trying to approach with the Zare. Yeah, Nox been using a lot of that 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 Nair and the Zare and the side beat just to keep Robin out. That's right. Okay, and just waiting. Yeah, you notice that rhythm is definitely or Nox is just reacting at this point. He's waiting from the shootout projectile, jumps over and goes for the punish afterwards. Knows for finally finds his mark and yeah. turns the tides. Zia is throwing out that laggy down tilt and. Did not bring out the Norse Feratu. 
Down smash is gonna go right through spot dodge. Yeah, you cannot spot dodge. It actually has like three hitboxes. So. Forward air rhythm stealing the lead here. Has stage control. Looking to find his opening. He got a parry, but opted to retreat and charge instead. Yeah, I'm not sure if he had 11 on deck, so I, th I don't think he wanted to use it. Right. It's the arc thunder. Okay, and rhythm? Yes, Thoron. Yeah, and. Up air doesn't even need it! And rhythm immediately like, turning that around. Like, that, yeah, was, that looked like that was Nox's set to win. Yeah, it looks. This seems like Nox was a little bit impatient after um, Rhythms took that second stock suddenly, right, and made it pretty much an even game. It just seems like Nox was pressing a little bit more to try to regain his advantage, but mm -hmm. in the process, throughout his game plan, he was using the whole set. Uh, that was a uh, that was pretty solid. Congratulations to Rhythm, bringing that back. Like you said, lost game one, coming back with the Robin. But guys, uh, we gotta go play our matches. Yeah, Nick.